Hi everyone, welcome back. I do believe this month is your dreams come true month. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm just being dramatic, but I have found this little gem and I'm in love. <laughs> Let me show you what it is. So we have here a kitchen. It allows you to make, to set, and to display little mini birds, make it mini foods. Isn't this incredible? Can you believe this is happening? I can't, but without further ado, let me show you what we have. So we have the new Miniverse Make It Mini Kitchen. As you know, I don't think any of us were aware that new items were coming out. So right here, let me show you, it comes with a UV light as well as a little surprise item, which would be right here. But let me go ahead and remove the plastic so we could start truly unboxing this and we'll be right back. We do have several things here. We have a surprise that we're going to check. We have our little mini miniature collector's guide for the mini kitchen. It does come with these two collectibles, which are the cocoa berry milk and the berry cereal donuts. They are super cute. I cannot wait to create this with you. Here is the instructions. If you want to pause it, maybe take a snapshot, review it later, you can. But please remember, this is for ages 8 and up. I'm going to try and take away as much of the cardboard as I can and we'll review it more in depth in just a moment but first let me show you the back here so it does have the sign the sign <laughs> sorry the sun design as well as some under I think it's like cabinets um, but I think it's for like an end table maybe we could also create there in the front of the kitchen we do have true true I can't speak, I'm so excited. <laughs> we have two utensil drawers, as well as a mini refrigerator. And to the subscriber that mentioned this, they heard you. We have a UV light oven. Here is the timer. It does not do a countdown, but it does turn off once the five minutes are up. Here is our surprise, as well as an upper cabinet which you can go ahead and adjust the levels by a tiny bit, but it's still adjustable. Let me put this here back. It also comes with a surprise. I have no idea what it is, but I sure want to find out. So let's take this little, seems like a little bag. Maybe it's just wrapped in paper, but it doesn't matter. Let's take it out. Let's go ahead and check. Ooh, this moves, that's awesome. And on the side, it does have a little tiny design, which is very cute. I think they did an incredible job. The upper cabinets, they do have interchangeable designs. So as you can see, you could flip them and you're able to get different designs for your backsplash. <laughs> We have here, this one's my favorite. I think we're keeping the pink. Um, we have here two little oven mitts. They're really cute. Let me see if they fit in my big fingers. They do, yay. Maybe we can use them later. Clap, clap. <laughs> Alrighty, let me go ahead and take these off and we'll add them to our little upper shelf. I do have a miniverse table and now Let's see what we are getting for our surprise. So we have the cereal, which we knew, right? It was part of the ingredients for the donuts. Let me give you a closer look. So, so cute. <laughs> I think I'm getting older because I cannot read the side print anymore. <laughs> let me go ahead and store it it comes with a pink bowl i love it typically the bowls are 
just transparent, right? Let's put away our little tongs. We have here a little piping tip. Let me go ahead and also set this aside. Let's go ahead and check what we got for our ingredients. We'll go ahead and we know we saw the cereal. Now let's go ahead and see what else we have here. We have the donut tray with its little wax paper as well as the donuts. <laughs> I have not unboxed any chocolate donuts yet so these are amazing. We have our cocoa berry milk. I'm thinking it's coconut milk with strawberries which does sound pretty delicious and refreshing. We have our ice. Let's put that in the sink. We have some strawberries. Wow, these look a little different. They definitely look different from the ones before. We'll see them more in depth in a moment. We have our mason jar. We have a glaze for our donuts. This one's still the same. Remember, do not eat. <laughs> And we have our Keep Cool mat. We'll start off with some donuts. What do you think? Let's get started with our berry cereal donuts. I know I have said this, but I'm so happy the chocolate donuts were included in this mini kitchen. Let me grab this spoon. We're going to possibly need that to spread the glaze as well as the tongs to grab the cereal. Let me close our little drawers here. Let's grab our glaze. The glaze, the design seems very similar to the old one. I rem it looks really, really, really similar. We have our berry cereal. Does anybody know where I put the bowl? Oh, it's in the cabinet. Let's grab our pink bowl to help us pour some cereal to grab it. Let me pour in some cereal. These are cute berry rings. Strawberry, raspberries, and blueberries. One day we should play with the tic-tac-toes in the back. <laughs> Let's pour some glaze. Let's see if the resin is the same or they have modified it okay so the color is good so far but it's a lot more runnier um, one of the tips in the instruction guide is to warm the resin with your hands before you open it but I didn't and it's still runny let me go ahead and I'm going to cure it a tiny bit just to see if I could get that glaze to really look white if I pour some more on top as you can see it really turns into a translucent glaze which doesn't look like the picture so I'm going to add just a little bit more glaze on top to try and get that same look hopefully it works cross your fingers we need to start adding some of the cereal I want to be as quick as I can because I don't want to lose that effect on the glaze that we have right now. I wish and I hope it stays white and doesn't go so translucent, but let me hurry, be right back. Okay, so this is what they look like. Let me cure them real quick. Let me put the oven, turn it on. And we shall, in the meantime, how about we make ourselves a bowl of cereal? Let's use some of that extra or leftover glaze and make it seem like milk. We're going to add some of the berry rings. Let's get as much as we can in there. 
I think that's enough. Okay, I'm going to add it to the oven just to see how it looks. If we need to add some more resin, let me go ahead and do that real quick. Let's move our donuts to the side and add our cereal. There we go. It's done. Let me take out the bowl first. I'm going to help myself with the tongs because I'm so clumsy. This is what it looks like so far. And let me take out the donuts. Here they are. They definitely look a little better, but let me go ahead and I think we need to add more resin to the cereal. Let's see how much more we can squeeze out <laughs> of that glaze. Let's see if this works. Oh, I'm getting a lot of air. No. That's all. I think we finished it. Let's go ahead and tap out those air bubbles. Oh, okay. I thought I had lost it for a moment. <laughs> Oh, that made me nervous. Okay, let me five second roll. Let me pick these up. Let's not be wasteful. We need to grab every single little cereal. Okay, there we go. I did get the bowl a little dirty, so I'm going to wipe away with a little um, alcohol wipes the resin on the side and let's cure it. Let's turn on our UV light with our little timer. There we go. And it's ready. Let me take out our bowl of cereal. And that is what, that is what it looks like. It's fully cured. What do you think? It has a huge bubble. I should have moved, moved it with a spoon or something. It's okay though. Still looks pretty good. <laughs> pretty pretty good I like it last but definitely not least we have the cocoa berry milk doesn't it look delicious many verse you make me crave this recipe in real life <laughs> let me grab the straw let's grab the keep cool mat we need a couple of more ingredients let's take them out of our fridge We'll start with the, let's grab the cocoa berry milk. And we're also going to grab our sunny, no, happy sun farm strawberries. These are so cute, like always. The only thing that I have noticed is that color difference. Now they're more on the pinker side, but that's perfectly fine. Strawberries come in all different colors. I think I've even seen like whitish, yellowish strawberries in the store. I'm not too sure if that's normal though, but let's go ahead and start making our cocoa berry milk drink. Let me first add some of the resin. Let's take off the little tape and then we should be able to open it and pour it way easier than before. Let's go ahead and take a closer look. I love the design and let's see how it pours out. Yep, definitely better. Good job, mini burrs. I am in love with this whole collection. <laughs> I need to stop. Somebody needs to stop me because I cannot stop talking nice or good or giving mini burst shout outs because this is such a unique and amazing toy. We have even here on the eyes back, you see that they took the time to put the I, the C, the E. Let's pour out some of the eyes. Just a little more. There we go. And I'm going to add now some of these happy sun farm strawberries. I wish my camera would pick up on that color that I'm mentioning. But hopefully you get to see it one day or if you haven't seen it already in person. I'm going to add just one more strawberry and then I think I'm going to just try and fix up the strawberries a little bit. 
That way they're not all in the center of the jar or the glass. And now we're going to add just a little bit more of the eyes. Come on, get out. <laughs> okay, there we go. I think I added too much, but it's okay. We'll make it work. We need to add more of the resin. Now I'm really craving a refreshing drink. Thank you, mini bars. <laughs> Hopefully I'm not making anybody hungry. Let's go ahead and add the straw before it's too late. If we cure it without adding the straw, then of course we won't be able to add it later. Let's go ahead and add the rest of the resin. It's still pouring out very nicely. It takes a little time, but I didn't think I needed to warm it up with my hands as instructed since it's already so runny. I'm just adding the finishing touches before we cure our cocoa berry drink. I think I have one, <laughs> one last ice left, ice cube. Let's open our little oven. Let's take out the rack and we're ready to cure. It's all done. Here is everything that we were able to create together today. We have our cocoa berry drink. We have our berry rings cereal with our chocolate donut cereal. <laughs> I had a magnificent time unboxing, reviewing, and creating these mini verse make it mini foods with you. I hope you enjoyed it. Here's the last view of our kitchen. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye. Hope everybody has a great day.